My name is Matt Moen. I help build Drupal 8. Yeah? Right? Yes. Deal? Doing. Welcome to the Acquia podcast, Drupal technology, community, and business. Welcome to the Acquia podcast, Drupal technology, community, and business. module for that? There, of course there is. In this podcast, in addition to speaking with Matt Moen about becoming a new Drupal core contributor, hearing from Angie Byron about what it takes to make a patch for Drupal core, and a bonus group Git lesson from the opening pre-keynote of DrupalCon Austin, I also recorded the entire first patch process some people might even call it a ceremony or a ritual, from the sprint day at DrupalCon Austin. It is posted alongside this podcast at acquia.com slash podcasts. So if you're interested in learning more about that process, please head on over and check out the page that this podcast is posted on. So, Matt, I got Moen, do you say Moen? Moen, yes. Moen, congratulations on your first patch in Drupal. Thank you. How are you feeling? Excited. It's it was awesome, cool. right? Yeah. It was a great experience. Yeah, I love the energy in the, this is actually my favorite moment at yeah. DrupalCon. I love the energy in the room for this. So, so let's do the micro version of, of who you are and what you do. Okay. So, yeah, how long have you been doing yeah. Drupal? Um, probably about six years. Now. About yeah. six years? Yeah. Um, what was the first version of Drupal that you worked with? Six. I, well, technically five, but I never got anything live with five, just okay. six. Okay, all so. right. So, what's your first Drupal memory? Um, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, figuring out how much cooler and easier it was to build uh, sort of um, sites that work really well with lots of fields compared to Joomla that I was working with before. So. Yeah, huh. I was a I was a Joomla migrant briefly a long time ago. So first memory, Drupal much cooler than Joomla. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> nice. And what do you do now? Where do you work? Uh, I work at Kilpatrick Design. We're mm -hmm. a, a marketing company in uh, Winston Salem, North Carolina. Nice. So you've been doing Drupal for a few years. Mm -hmm. um, I have two questions about that. Sure. Um, what motivated you? What happened mm -hmm. so that you're a contributor now? Well, I've had some, you know, I've, I got a few contributed modules. I've helped with in the contrib space a bit. Um, and, you know, Drupal helps me make a living. Uh, so, you know, the, the only thing that was preventing me, I've wanted to be a core contributor, but the only thing that's been preventing me was uh, um, just sort of, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to know where to get started. So even right. if I've got the skills to sort of know where I'm most helpful and, which issues are, are to be, uh, you know, I can make the most difference on and actually get something committed. And DrupalCon was an awesome place for that to sort of turn over. So, so, so you like, you got involved in the mentoring and... and yeah, yeah. Somebody, um, uh, Manarth, uh, who was yep. the other guy who was Marcus up Marcus Yep. And, um, uh, oh, I'm just, I forget his name, but it was another guy, uh, another Aquia guy who was, who was helping me. Thank you, um, other guy. Gets, get a, a, and I'm terribly sorry for <laughs> Uh, but yeah, they hooked me up and, and, and just helped me pick out some issues and, uh, um, you know, away we go. And they were helpful getting them reviewed and all that good stuff. All right. So. so have you tasted blood now? Are you going to be back? Oh, yeah. I'd love to keep contributing. Sure. Awesome. Absolutely. So think back to when you were looking at Drupal 5, mm -hmm. doing stuff with Drupal 6. How has Drupal changed between then and now? Well, um, I mean, 7 was a huge shift in terms of how much we could do that didn't involve hacking. I mean, having things like fields in core um, and views has always been a great platform. Um, and features has made a big difference for us too in terms of being able to, which is, you know, it's contrib, but um, Drupal 8, I mean, I'm also doing some symphony work too. So Drupal 8 is extremely exciting to me. The biggest pain point that we have with Drupal overall is that it's hard to test. It's hard to build well encapsulated code. And Drupal 8 just like solves all of that. For Blows us. it out so, of the water. All right. That's great. Yeah. So, so, What's the thing you're most excited about in Drupal 8? Um, this, this is like super nerdy, but test coverage, believe it or not. Like being able to write good, solid, uh, encapsulated, uh, uh, tested code. All right. You know? Cool. I'm a nerd, I guess. I don't know. No. <laughs> Welcome to your <laughs> people. Kind of yeah, totally. <laughs> so congratulations. That's Thank you. super awesome. Thank you for contributing. Hi, my name is Matt Moen. I help build Drupal 8.
Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, Go get your cab. Congratulations. Thanks a lot. As Matt pointed out, as much as he wanted to contribute to Drupal Core, he wasn't exactly sure where to start and really how to get going. And the mentors, Marcus and that other guy, helped him find something to do and something that he could patch in an afternoon in Austin. Here's Angie Webchick Byron talking about how it takes a village to write a patch like this and uh, to maintain and improve our CMS. Here's Angie also at the sprints in Austin. You know, that it wasn't just a programmer seeing a problem and coding a solution, right? It was actually this thing was worked on by probably like at least 20 or so people. It was someone to find the bug originally, someone to do an initial patch, someone to test to see if that worked or not by uploading different image sizes and see what happens, someone to write the patch that accounted for all of those problems, someone to look into why TestBot was failing, someone to just take screenshots of what was going on, someone else to embed those screenshots in the first post so that people coming through the issue could you know, learn about that immediately without having to read 400 comments. So it's, it takes a village to do each one of these issues, so I want to really thank everybody who's participating in anything within these core issues because you all make a big difference and we collectively you can change the awesome world. So thanks everybody. So everybody, it's time to learn the giddy pokey. Campbell, uh, co uh, coder, wonder twin. Ladies and gentlemen, all rise. We're gonna need everybody standing up for this. We need the whole community to help so, with the git you. bush. <laughs> the patchy pokey, as I like to call it. <laughs> you can see the words, right? So I'm going to show you all the actions, and I want everybody to catch the toilet paper and then follow along with me. You push your patches in. Make sure sticking out your tush is very important here. This is, this is coding standard. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not seeing very many people pushing here. Alex, everybody you together. know about pushing You push code. your Come patches on. in. You pull your patches out. You push your patches in. Then you fork them all about. Jazz hands. You fork them all about. Jazz hands are critical here. <laughs> critical. You diff your latest changes, and then you merge into a branch. You see this nice little tree we make here? All right, let's run that through another time. That's what gets all about. That's what gets all about. OK, we're going to do that one more time. A little bit faster now. I like this song. I, you know, I, it's one of my favorites. It's a good song. It never fails to bring a tear to my yeah. eye. You push your patches in. in. You pull, pull your patches out. You push, push your, your patches in. in and, and you, you fork, fork them all about. about. You dip, dip your, your latest, latest changes and you merge into a branch. branch. That's, That's what, what gets it's all about. I think we should cue the music. Maestro, Do cue the music. Questions? I think they've got it. <laughs> Everybody patches, patches in, in, you pull your patches out, you push your patches in, and you fork them all about. You dip your latest changes and you merge into a branch. That's what it's all about. Louder, everybody. You push your patches in, you pull your patches out, you push your patches in, and you fork it all about. You dip your latest changes and you merge into a branch. You dip your latest changes and you merge into a branch. That's what it's all about. You patch it in, you pull your patches out. I can't hear you. You patch it in and you pour the code about something. You dip your latest changes and you merge into a branch. That's what it's all about. Excellent. Yay! Give yourselves a round of applause. Good job.